Today we're going to do a bit of an overview, a uh, boat, boat report on a Stesco Catcher FL430. Hi, my name's Matt Hodson from John Crawford Marine and welcome down to the boat yard. Well let's have a look over this aluminium tiller steer dinghy and see what it has to offer you out on the water. Well remember back a few years ago, we were all out there chasing a 3.7 metre tinny with a 15 horsepower two stroke on the back and we thought that was the bee's knees. Well wow, how things have changed in the space of tinny land. Well the humble tiller steer tinny is now becoming something very much sophisticated and Stesco is certainly one of the market, one of the industry uh, players that have certainly brought this to the attention of our consumers. I suppose consumer demand has also wanted it as technology is now trickling down and becoming more affordable in the entry level market. This Desco product is made locally here in South East Queensland and it's been really well set up which is an absolute credit to both only the person that ordered the boat knowing what he wanted on the rig but also too to the dealer that's done the setup. So good on you guys. This one here has a Mercury 30 horsepower fuel injected four stroke using a measly three to four hours, of four litres an hour uh, at, a, at a comfortable cruise speed of around 18 to 20 knots. Wide open throttle, they certainly do use a little bit more, but at idle speed, if you're out trolling for flatties and the like, you're probably gonna get it down to half of that again. So four stroke technology is certainly the way of the future in these small dinghies. But mind you, if you still only have a two stroke on the back, there's nothing wrong with putting an electric motor on the front, using the two stroke to get to A and B, and then using your electric motor to get into the confined areas. This particular boat has unpainted sides. Now for a commercial tinny, which, and I suppose I use the word commercial lightly, but really they are used as a fishing boat for crabbing and prawning. So they're in estuaries, they're up against pontoons and mangrove trees and the like. Having a nice painted exterior, unless you're pedantic with it, well it will eventually start to look tired and old. That can affect your resale value. They have painted the inside of the boat, which is a really smart move to reduce the glare on a hot summer's day, a bit like today. The other thing that I like with this particular boat, well it's got two bench seats, underneath those bench seats is full of foam, so it gives the boat some really good buoyancy in the worst case scenario. The, the, the owner of the boat's also put two, two uh, swivel seats on top of those uh, bench uh, platforms, give you a little bit more back support and give your dairy air a little bit of comfort. The layout, because this boat's a tiller steer, meaning that you drive it at the rear of the boat, with, generally with your left hand, so that on, for your right hand, not only can you grab onto a conveniently uh, positioned uh, grab rail, but you've also got there ergonomically a four switch panel, radio, uh, this one's got a handheld GPS and it's also got a hummingbird sounder on a removable arm so that no matter where you are on the boat you can actually then see the sounder and obviously try and see what's underneath you. The casting platform allows somebody to stand up forward, flicking lures or seeing how shallow the water may be, there's room for the anchor, there's also bow grab rails. This particular boat is really what I would call the top end of a tiller steer tinny with its design and its features. Well, let's have a look over them and see what's inside her. Well, for the skipper of this particular boat, you've got it pretty easy. Not only do you have a Mercury fuel injected four stroke, which are known for their reliability, the motor's also electric start with backup manual start in the event of a flat battery, and it's got power trim and tilt, meaning fingertip control to make the motor go up and make the motor go down. So great when you're coming in the shallow waters, which is generally where this boat will be used in estuary or what we call smooth waters. The boat's been fitted with an engine foil. Now what that does is it helps to get the boat on the plane that little bit quicker. Just takes away a little bit of the labour in getting it moving. Some boats of this size may have a 40 horsepower on them. Some might deem a 30 being a bit light. But this particular boat was really only used one up, one person. So a 40, the extra money wasn't needed. So sitting here in the helm position, you certainly feel very comfortable. And certainly feel in the boat, not on the boat. So the, the side rails are easily accessible to have one hand hanging onto while the other hand hangs onto the tiller arm. If you do have a second person on board or third or fourth, it is rated for four people. Um, again, the handles on the boat are there for easy access to hang onto and feel secure. The layout and feature in the cockpit of this boat, well it's a credit to Stesco. From side pockets to where the sound has been laid out, to the uh, radio, the switch panel, the boat's even got a battery isolation switch, off, not often found on a boat of this size. But the painted inside, the tiller handle, the bimini top, look, everything's got a place, everything's got a purpose. That's really important in these smaller boats as you don't want clutter inside them. This rig's trailered on an oceanic trailer, galvanised, made here in South East Queensland. It has an ATM of 750 kilos, meaning it should be able to be towed by most small to medium sized cars, but please check with your vehicle manufacturer first to make sure you can tow that weight. 
boat features, uh, the trailer features 13 inch galvanised wheels, which is a good size for safe highway travel. You don't really don't want to be down around that 10, 11 inch size tyre. Um, the bearings are just running too hot on a highway. So a 13 inch wheel, good size to have. Thanks for your time looking over the Stesco FL 430 Catcher with me. If you like this video and others that we've done, well why not like and subscribe to our YouTube TV channel. That way you can keep abreast of other videos that we bring to air. Well, my name's Matt Hodson from John Crawford Marine and again, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.